I'm now in receipt of my manual cam chain tensioner for the BMW F850 GS alongside it for comparison is the hydraulic version the hydraulic version or the original version has got two rubber seals there's a rubber seal here and there's a rubber seal at the bottom on the plunger I mean it's not on the plunger because it you can it's just added there's no groove that it sits or anything like that and it gets squashed in between this flat face here and a corresponding flat face within the engine cylinder block this groove here is not for putting the seal into this groove here is to allow oil from the oil way in the cylinder block because this might not correspond of, uh, to where the hole uh, where the oil feed is because obviously you rotate it as you screw it in so that oil way here allows oil to flow around find these two holes flow down this channel inside the bucket to fill the bucket up to push this out so as oil pressure builds this thing's spring loaded so as the pressure builds it pushes this out against the spring to increase the spring tension to give you your cam chain tension and the reason behind it all is then it's sort of an automatic thing doesn't need adjusting and once it's in you uh, leave it doesn't need servicing in comparison now this one is the manual version now when you get this this rubber seal here which corresponds to the rubber seal on this part here which fits against the heading get sandwich doesn't fit very well but don't be tempted to try and fit this rubber o-ring into this groove on the uh, manual version because you'll end up with no oil pressure because oil will be able to get past this seal again even though it don't fit very well it needs to sit against that face there. If you look at these two together, this face here has been machined in to mimic this piece, and then that piece, this piece here mimics this piece that sticks out. So if I take this thing to pieces, uh, well before I do this seal then, so it doesn't really fit very well, not like the other one, it doesn't fit as snugly around here as it does on the original version. So I suppose you could use the seal of the original version if you wanted to. But that is the same thing. So that seal that sits around there will sit around there. So if I just move this first one out of the way, let's get rid of that. And get rid of the old one and get rid of this. keep those together yeah so this is a lot simpler so it's made up of a your lock nut and then quite simply the outer housing is threaded to allow you to increase its length you've got another rubber seal on the inside of it just here so that steals to stop oil coming out of the engine coming up this way and that's your adjustment basically is to screw this in or out to make the foot here engage with your cam chain follower and apply pressure so that you might set your cam chain tension how you would like it now i haven't found any this kit doesn't come with any instructions and i haven't seen anything on youtube so I have noticed that the same sort of thing is available for the BMW S1000RR and there is a, a YouTube video of somebody showing how to fit that. But basically by the looks of it you take your hydraulic version out, discard it, well put it somewhere safe, 
make sure your seal's in the right place here. So one up against this flat face and the second one just under the top of the nut. And then what you do is you put this in before you start the engine. You undo this lock nut and you screw this in finger tight so it takes up the slack on the cam chain. Do not start your engine with lots of slack on the cam chain because it could hop over the drive gears and the drive sprockets of your cam chain. So what you do is you take up the slack by hand with this, sort of lock that into position so it doesn't move as you start the bike up. And then you make the adjustment. Now looking at the one for the S1000RR, you basically screw this in, so tightening up the chain until the rattle just goes away. But other people are saying that you don't want to take away all of the rattle, you should still leave a little bit of rattle, because if you tighten it up so tight that the rattling goes away completely, then supposedly that's too tight. But I would have a look at the video for manual cam chain tensions on other motorcycles, other BMWs. Uh, so that's that. Fits in the F750 GS as well, and also the 900XR, is it BMW 900XR? I believe is the same motor. So that's your manual cam chain tensioner.